Hi everyone, I'm Angela, and today let's do another linguistics Olympiad problem called Kazakh. Several phrases have been translated into Kazakh, written in Roman script here, but the translations are given in random order. Some of the words are missing. Firstly, match each phrase with its correct translation and supply the missing words. So with any questions that involves matching, we need to look for repetitions. So on the screen, we can see quite a few ones, fifties, four, five, um, eight, and one definitely stands out to you. So we are going to try to figure out what one is. And looking through the left side and the right side, we can see that one is both highlighted in yellow. And then moving on to 50, that appears a lot. That from misc and matching we can find is in pink. Now, because we know what 50 is, we can easily find what 52 is because of the placement of 50. And then you can definitely find out what 2 is. It is in blue. And then we can first figure out what I is. And in this case, I matches to number 4. For number 1 and number 5, we have two options. So we are going to list the options on the side so that we don't get confused. And we can do that with 2 as well. So everything we do when we figure out a few options for each of them, we write those options down. Now, looking at number 6 and number 9, highlighted in green, it seems like we do have quite a few options here. But looking closely, look at number 9. It actually has four words. And the only other option that has four words that we've matched already is 50, 2, and 10. So the four words is likely to be 13 and 30. And it is the only option that might work. So we are going to try 13 and 30. And thinking logically, 13 could be separated into 10 and 3. And that could work, while as the all other numbers cannot really be separated unless it's in different bases. From the previous ones we've matched, we know that um, the word placement is direct. So 30 on the end can only be matched to number 9, while as 30 at the front could only be matched to number 6. So this solves our mystery for G and H. And it also confirms that the two words means 13. Because we already know what 2 is, we can easily figure out the blank um, for H that matches with 6. So for that blank, it will be the word for 2. And then from this, we can also figure out the middle word actually means and. And there's different forms of and depending on the previous word. Because we know what G is, 13, as we've said before, that can be separated into 10 and 3, we can figure out which one matches with I because it ends with 10 as well. And it turns out it matches with number 4. And from the 13, we can also figure out what 3 is. And we can match C with number 8. So looking through what we've done so far, only D on the left hand side hasn't been highlighted. And that can directly match to number 7 on the right hand side. From this, we can figure out what 7 is. But for 7 in E, it follows with a 50. And on the right hand side, we have two 50s with a blank in the front. And we're not sure about which one it is. The only difference is the conjugations of AND. One with the starting letter of M and another with B. So what do we do now? Oops, it is not called conjugations, it is forms. So if you have a little bit of linguistics background, you can easily find out that AND has three forms in this sense. The AND that starts with P goes after a voiceless consonant. 
The and that starts with M goes after vowels and sonorant consonants. And the and that starts with B goes after other voiced consonants. Now you might ask, how do I know about this then? If you have linguistics background, you can quite easily figure out this from the notes below. So in linguistics Olympiad problems, it is very, very important to read the notes below. If you don't have a lot of linguistics background, you can definitely still work this out. So for example, looking at number eight, as we've determined that for number nine, the S follows with a P. Therefore, the same thing above, the S will definitely follow with a P, logically. So looking at number four, the AND that starts with M is following an I. And because we know seven, the number seven in this sense, um, ends with an I, it will definitely again follow the pattern to have the end that starts with M. So from this, we know that E matches with number five. So F will definitely be number one. And from the H that we've highlighted in orange, we know that H is S-A-G-I-Z. That goes in the blank in F. And then we can easily figure out what A and B is. And then with the AND, because A and B starts with the same letter, the AND will be the same as well, which is M-E-N. Now we can move on to number two. Translate into Kazakh. A, 5 and 38. B, 10 and 4. C, 7 and 53. D, 38 and 5. And with these, you can easily figure them out based on what we've talked through already. So I will show how I work these out, but I will not explain it as I go. So that's all for today. Hopefully you've learned a way to approach linguistics Olympiad problems. Please like, subscribe and comment below to support.